everyone, Louise here. Um, I'm doing this video for YouTube, this YouTube channel. Uh, it's my first one for this channel. Um, to introduce myself to you as a teacher of Effortless Magical Living, which is my absolute passion in life. Um, so I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. And I'm um, first and foremost, I'm a 64-year-old granny. Uh, where the fuck did that go? <laughs> I ask myself. Um, and I've done many things in my life. Mainly, I've been a musician. Well, actually, more of a singer and an opera singer, actually. Um, which is, uh, and also, I've been very. Um, the other main thing is, I've been very spiritually inclined. Now, the spiritual side of things was actually where I first um, did did my training and my, was my first job if you like I trained to be a teacher of yoga meditation way back in the 1970s when I was like about 19 or 20 and um and I did that very successfully for 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 several years up until about I was I suppose about 26 or 27 at which point my um my urge to to sing took over because I had always sung as a child at school and I did all my singing exams and studied you know singing and everything and and that was that became you know that began to grip me and um I ended up getting into the uh, National Opera Studio in London at about age 29 and so then I sang for my bread and butter uh, for a good 25 years, which I thoroughly enjoyed and which to which my parents in particular sighed a, sighed a sigh of relief that I was uh, finally doing something that was not weird because, you know, in the early 1970s, as you can imagine, uh, doing yoga and meditation was considered a little bit off the planet and... Uh, the kind of spiritual uh, movement which we have now in the world was not really what it is now. And I was very much a little bit of a uh, an oddball <laughs> amongst my family and friends. Um, so then... Uh, so, so my singing really was the the main thing in my life until a moment uh, came in my life when the shit hit the fan big time. You know, these things that happen to you in your life where just shite goes down and you have to rethink everything. You have to go back to base and think, what is my life about? Who am I? What do I really want? What do I really love? Um... <laughs> it takes a big shite event to bring one back to centre because I was, you know, when I was into the yoga and meditation stuff, I was pretty pretty centred and online with, with the spiritual side of things. And then I kind of went on this meandering journey into um, other places and uh, got a bit lost. So uh, it often takes, I think, a big, you know, something big in your life to uh, make you start looking at yourself and what you're doing and who you are. And that's often with people, it can be the loss of a loved one. It can be, you know, bad health and uh, for yourself and near-death near experiences with your health, um, you know, loss of huge amounts of money or something. You know, big things that happen in your life can often bring people um, to the point where they begin to look within. And I guess that's what happened to me. And uh, at that time, I was living in Australia when things got really bad. And I discovered uh, intuition training and I discovered uh, alchemy. And I trained, I've trained in that kind of um, modality for around 10 years. And I now t coach people um, to do, you know, coach people in one-on-one -on -one in this amazing stuff and I help people my passion is to help people to go within to take this journey within and uh, enable them to cut to the chase and be able to really create what they want in their life 
And also what complements my work is the fact that I um, am also very much starting to get into the uh, doTERRA essential oils, which complement my work amazingly because basically the inner work is all about aligning yourself, changing your vibrational frequency in order to attract those things in your life that you want, which I'll go into in depth in another uh, video later on. But uh, the essential oils play a huge role in actually uh, raising your emotions vibrationally. They are, they're very powerful tools to help you to um, create better emotional states within yourself, which is the basis of what raising your vibrational frequency is all about. Um, so if you want to subscribe to me, it would be awesome. There must be a button somewhere, I think, where you can click to subscribe. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, if you find it, click on it because I'm going to start um, making an effort to do regular videos um, with, with, you know, info on how to live effortlessly and magically in a freedom and sometimes a video on the beautiful oils as well so uh, stay tuned for more and thank you for watching and lots of love to you all and um see you soon thank you bye